You know, this is a project that we actually started last fall. Uh, Fredericksburg Main Street started it, and we formed our official committee in February, and we've been working really hard to get these seven otters up and around downtown. This all, to me, started with the game. It did, yeah. Well, and you know, we had talked about wanting some sort of public art project downtown. We knew that with Riverfront Park opening and all the new work um, to Hercant Park, we figured that there was some way to bring those two parks together, allow people to enjoy them, but also come down and enjoy um, the Main Street District, you know, our businesses. So how do we create movement between the parks and between downtown? And uh, there's no better way to do that than through a public art project. And so as our team was sitting and talking, you know, one of the most successful public art projects was Mice on Main in Greenville, South Carolina. And down there they have little bronze mice that they've got hidden all over town. They did this decades ago and it brings in all sorts of tourists coming down looking for these mice around downtown again creating movement in their community and so we said gosh I wonder if we could do something like that and uh, I love river otters in fact I had proposed a river otter as the mascot of the Fred Nats and, have been. <laughs> and they have been. didn't pick it and so I've been holding a grudge for a little while and so when I talked about river otters and we were talking about um, uh, uh, mice on Maine and needing a public art project it kind of just all came together well and now the funny thing is I, I hear people who are on the river a lot at especially at, at uh, dusk or mm -hmm. sunset talking about seeing otters yeah you know that's the biggest question I get from people people are like hey why didn't you choose some other animal that we we see all the time on the river herons or eagles or even Gary the goose done at city docks but I really liked the the otter because the river otter made for a really great bronze sculpture it was easy for us to kind of conceptualize that in, in terms of a public art project but also because it is elusive people don't always see them you have to be on the river at certain times and and the biggest part of why we chose a river otter is you know river otters are so reliant upon a clean river they're reliant on a good healthy ecosystem and so for rivers uh, river otters to be coming back to the Chesapeake Bay and up the watershed and into the Rappahannock River means that we have a healthy clean river and that's a great story that I want to promote and I know that the city wants to promote the years and decades of work from Friends of the Rappahannock and the city and many others to have a clean river and it's exciting when people are now telling me because they're paying attention they're seeing the rivers you know I, uh, the river otters I heard from uh, a friend who saw a river otter when they were sitting on the back of Tapas Rio eating at the wow. restaurant yeah and it was right there in the river so you just kind of have to pay attention because they don't come out and scream but if you you look real hard you'll you'll see one so april a lot of businesses and individuals have gotten involved in these otters i guess you keep adding to them as more and more people look at these and say i want i want to be associated with this yeah absolutely so this launch is just phase one so part of phase one is seven bronze otter sculptures and we had amazing donors that contributed to this program it also included a website it included a scavenger hunt and uh, all the graphics to kind of make the program work but we're going as soon as the unveiling happens this saturday we're moving into phase two where we're going to look to place eight more otter sculptures um, in and around town so We'll be working on that. You can go to www.fxbgotters.com and you can see how to get involved. And if you want to make a donation, if you want to adopt an otter, or if uh, you want to volunteer with us, definitely go to that website and get in contact with me. This is definitely something that I think that gets people excited. And people smile a lot. Yes. You're smiling a lot. Everybody does. And it's, it's, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a fun thing, and especially in this in this time. That's exactly right. It makes you happy to even just think about a river otter um, and to see one. And kids are going to love it. Families are going to love it. And um, Print Jazz, Pete with Print Jazz, developed the scavenger hunt. Uh, Bobby uh, um, Hebert developed the riddles and so if you go to the visitor center and grab a scavenger hunt you're going to be able to use the clues to go around and find all seven otters if you find all seven you bring that scavenger hunt back to the visitor center and they've got a surprise for you so it's a lot of fun for families to be able to meander around downtown and find these river otters well and especially for families because sometimes 
adults are interested in a lot of things yeah. in, downtown, but there's sometimes it's not as kid friendly. I th yeah, and that's exactly what our committee wanted to make sure that we had a great kid friendly activity, but something that adults would enjoy too. And when you when you I'm not going to tell you where the otters are, but the otters are in locations that adults will appreciate seeing. And okay. so it's it's part of our downtown history and places that we enjoy congregating and and being in and then the kids are going to really enjoy seeing and learning more about the otters.